Welcome to this new tutorial. Today I want to show you how you integrate the in-painting workflow into a stable cascade workflow. So far there is an in-painting model created by the Stability AI people, but I didn't find a way so far to integrate it into a Comfy UI workflow. What we do today is to take the normal model and use it as an in-painting model to create the typical in-painting effect. So we take an image we created in the last videos and create a mask and in-paint this mask with some new content. It's quite straightforward. It is based on the last video's workflow. I will link the old workflow in the description below so you can download it and use it as a base and then we will create the new in-painting workflow on top of it. So let's begin. So this is the old stable cascade image to image workflow. You just have to exchange some nodes. Everything is uh, standard nodes, no custom nodes are used. So let's begin. Uh, at first, we need another encode. We need the VAE encode for inpainting. And we need to pipe everything into this node. We use the same FNET encoder for the VAE. And then we can connect it to the latent image of our. K sampler. This is the stage C. We can delete this node. So now we need a mask of the area we want to inpaint. So in this case, I will simply um, use the coffee shop functionality. So let's right click on the image, choose the open in comfy shop option. This will open the image. And now we simply can draw our mask onto the image. I will simply exchange the clothes. So I paint the clothes black. With the mouse wheel, you can adjust the stroke size. So I take a big stroke for the big details and then I use the mouse wheel to change to a small stroke and then I will paint the small details. You can also generate your mask with Blender or other software. You can also load it from Photoshop. Uh, for the Blender option, I also did a tutorial. I will link it in the description. You can uh, use it as a base for your own workflow in Blender to generate a mask and to inpaint and exchange uh, parts of your 3D renderings or similar things. I will link it below. So our mask is painted. I will save it to Node. Now we see it's shown here. Then we can connect the mask port to the mask port. And that should be it. I use the following prompt. Futuristic soldier with colorful high-tech full body armor with integrated LED lights, young female exoskeleton. And Let's give it a try.
So there we are. You see, the clothes are exchanged, everything stays the same. And this should give you a good start for in painting with Stable Cascade. Uh, what I realized or what I uh, expected is that this model isn't optimized for in painting. It is somehow uh, usable. So if you have simple in painting tasks, uh, it should uh, work. And we can try another one. It gave me somehow some good results. So this is a little bit off, but let's generate another one. Yeah. It's really depending on the prompt as well. So mess around with this if your um, results are not good. Also, maybe adjust the, um, the mask a little bit. You can also adjust the encoding a little bit. The grow mask value, for example, let's choose 20. That will grow your mask for a little bit and increase the area around it. Play around with those values. So that's it for this video. Uh, as far as I find a more optimized way to inpaint in Stable Cascade, I will make a video and let you know. But for now, this is what we have. And I think it's working for now, but Hopefully they will optimize everything and will integrate it into ComfyUI. So yeah, so far. See you again soon. Bye bye.